I will call to order the meeting of the Common Council for Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. Clerk. 11 are present, Your Honor, with all your uh, brunette absent. Very good, thank you. We'll all now rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the invocation that will be led by Alder John Vanderleest. Pledge of Allegiance to the, to flag, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mayor, I'll start that invocation then. Sounds great. Lord, I ask your blessing for each employee that works for the city of Green Bay. Each job and person is important to the welfare of the city of... Lord, bless each employee. I'd also like to le read from Proverbs 9, verse 9 and 10. Instruct a wise man, and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man, and he will learn more. The fear of the Lord is the being of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Alder. I'll now under of the September 4th, 2020 meeting. Move to approve. Second. Motion by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Corpus Dax. Any corrections? No requests. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay, the minutes have been approved. Approval of the agenda. So move. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Vanderlees, seconded by Alder Corpus Dax. Any changes to make here? Seeing no requests, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed nay? Mayor. Uh, just a point of order on the approval of minutes. Did we also have to take up the clarification on the August 18th minutes? No, we uh, we passed those at the September 4th meeting. Okay, I know, but there's a, a at least on the agenda I'm looking at, it says approval of the clarification of the minutes. Yeah, I'm not aware of that. I believe we addressed that at the September 4th meeting. Um, Attorney Chavez? So long as they were already approved, um, there's no need to, to do it a second time. Um, the clarifications would have been um, done as part of the approval process. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, thanks Alder. Uh, so can I, I'm sorry, Mayor, can I clarify? We, made, we amended the minutes. So don't we have to approve them then? Because there was a correction? I just want to get the minutes right. That's all. Were they approved as amended? I, no. I <laughs> so is there no action taken last time? From my understanding, the mayor just said we'll make note of that. So then I, um, the clerk's office, went back and made the correction to show that Alder Johnson didn't have a connection at the time because he wanted to show that he was voting no to that item and he didn't have a connection so he wanted it in the minutes to show um so we did make a correction so in okay. so prior we would always approve okay so maybe the appropriate motion is to approve the august 18th minutes as corrected and the september 4th minutes so moved Motion made by Alder Scannell. Second. Second. Seconded by Alder Johnson. Any other comments? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nay? The ayes have it. Now we are on to report by the mayor. Um, just a few thoughts tonight. Um, you know, we are kind of in the, the home stretch of the, uh, the presidential election here, just seven weeks out. Um, and I think there are um, a lot of attention is being devoted to that uh, that race. Obviously, uh, tensions are running a bit high in the community, and you know, just want to encourage everyone, um, you know, those who are listening, of course, in the community, but uh, most importantly, um, myself and the alders, to just 
uh, maintain as much decorum and respect as possible, um, both within the context of this meeting and whenever we are communicating publicly. I think there are a lot of forces um, in our politics that are you know, kind of trying to pull us apart. And I think it's really important for us to be able to come together in, uh, in a formal setting in these meetings, but also in the community and exchange our views. Um, while they might be, dip might be differing, exchange our views in a way that's respectful of one another and respectful of the, uh, the important issues before us. So I, I know we're gonna have an opportunity to do that tonight as we always do, uh, maybe exchange some, some differing views and to do so um, you know, in, a, in a way that respects everyone involved. And again, would just encourage us um, to, be, to pay special attention to the importance of that in the weeks ahead and, and beyond. Um, so that's really to touch on tonight um, in my report. So that is concluded. On to announcements. I, I have one, or Alder Galvin has one. Yeah, go ahead, Alder Dorf. <laughs> Thank you. My announcement tonight will, will be about the police department. I support many groups and initiatives that make our community a better place to live for all. Tonight, I have an announcement to read regarding my support for our Green Bay Police Department. As Vice President of City Council, I extend my personal and professional gratitude to the men and women of the Green Bay Police Department. Whether you serve at the front desk, do behind the scenes duties, drive a patrol car, or work in a supervisory position, it is important that you know that I support the good work you do here in the city of Green Bay. I worked closely with the school resource officers for the Green Bay Area Public School District for 12 years and with the officers who dealt directly with child abuse in all its forms. I've always been impressed with the empathy shown toward the children of this community. During this COVID crisis, these officers continue to nurture the relationships that students and families have with law enforcement. They ensure that students have the means to continue to get an education and do their best to protect them, whether at school, at home, or out in the community. In the past months, law enforcement officers have undergone and likely will continue to undergo intense scrutiny. Some have been subject to harsh criticism. What is often lost is that members of the Green Bay Police Department are members of our community. They are parents at sporting events and neighbors you see walking their dogs. They are Packers, Bucks, and Brewers fans. Some enjoy a good book on their off day. Some walk the farmer's market, while others might try the Fox River out for some walleye. Most of them have established roots in and around our community and simple and family on their off time. One thing they all have in common is that they all dedicated themselves to serve and to protect. They promise to put themselves in harm's way and respond to crisis, big and small. They agree to work on holidays, birthdays, and Packer Sundays. Municipality, we fund the police department and employ police officers as part of our social contract. Green Bay, like many other municipalities, has already asked the police to do more with less, a difficult task they are proudly accomplishing. When police officers are only viewed through a social media lens, they can be seen as government soldiers, incapable of human emotion, making it easier to denounce the police. Social media has catapulted us, catapulted us into a new era of quick judgments regarding police and public interactions. Captivating images on video highlight very specific interactions between police and the public and are often a brief dramatic part of the incident. Opinions are quickly formed with limited facts. Viewpoints are entrenched and argued around the world. I want you to know, Green Bay Police Department, that you have my trust in your ability to make good decisions and perform appropriate action. Finance Committee, I am pledging to the Green Bay Police Department that I will never support defunding our department. I will do everything I can to ensure you get the equipment and training you need to keep you safe, to help you perform this most difficult job, a job that you've chosen as your life's career, a job that very few are willing to do. 
I want to especially commend the protection, support, and guidance you've shown to people exercising their right to peacefully assemble here in Green Bay. I applaud your courage as you serve on the front lines during the COVID-19 pandemic, risking your health and well-being to serve this community. I want to thank now the people I reached out to for input and ideas before writing and while writing this announcement. These include a school resource officer, um, the president of the Green Bay Professional Police Association, and a police captain. I'm proud of our police department and the courage, dedication, and professionalism of its members. In closing, I would encourage the public to also show your support to the Green Bay police officers with a smile, a wave, and a thank you whenever the occasion arises. Thank you for letting me read this announcement. Thank you, Alder Dorf. Alder Galvin. Thank you, Your Honor. I also uh, uh, have a, a statement I want to read. Um, and I'd just indulge me for a few minutes. Um, as most of you know, I was a police officer for the city of Green Bay for almost 35 years. Like many professions, police officers are a group unto themselves. They live a profession where everything they do, including in some cases with only a split second to make a decision, is second guessed, debated, critiqued, and reviewed. This is done by their supervisors, lawyers, judges, juries, and law enforcement instru instructors. They expect this as it is part of the job. They're also used to the people they deal with, including those persons, family, and friends making judgments and usually expressing them while the call is still ongoing. And how police do their jobs should be scrutinized to learn what works and does not work, to develop best practices and implement them. And if an officer is breaking the rules or laws to deal with them and stop that behavior. Where they don't expect to get criticized from without causes from the very people who are their bosses. They know if they do wrong, they will be held accountable by their police supervisors and those government officials who oversee their employment. But when politicians make judgments about incidents based solely on information they view from the news, whether those incidents took place here or elsewhere, our police officers are left wondering just how much support they have. Speaking only for the Green Bay Police Department, I can say over my 35 years with the department, we have made large strides to have an officer who is better prepared to deal with the many different situations they have to deal with in a humane manner that respects everyone they deal with. I served under seven different chiefs over my career. Every one of them raised the standards of hiring, accountability, training, and discipline. During the hiring process, since I was hired, they now have lie detector tests, psychological tests, ethics testing, and extensive background checks. And even once they're hired, they have instituted a mini police academy to give the recruit more training before they start training on the road. When they're on the road, they go through a several months long field training program where they're assigned to one officer at a time and every call they go on is reviewed and scrutinized and a police supervisor reviews that work on a weekly basis. Even with the extensive background checks and hiring process, this FTO process still weeds out several of the recruits and they're let go. Our department has developed a policy and procedure manual that is being continuously updated to reflect new industry standards and research findings that dictate how everyone we deal with is treated from the victim to the suspect. And our officers know they will be held accountable to those standards. Our training has tra changed so much that it's almost unrecognizable to what I had when I started on the job. The emphasis now is on decision-making, escalation and de-escalation of use of force, verbal skills, how to deal with individuals suffering from mental health issues, sexual assault, domestic abuse, overdoses, and many other factors that affect our community. They're entrusted to recognize those at risk and get them directed to the best help for them. Over my career, our department has tried several different types of policing to better help the people in our community. We've had team policing, district policing, community-oriented policing. And during that time, our department developed relationships with several minority groups that have been in effect for over two decades and have helped foster a mutual understanding and respect for each other. So when politicians view a 15 to 20 second news video depicting an officer's use of force and then publicly making a statement saying they will wait for the investigation to be completed before judging, but in the same breath go on to say there is a problem with systemic bias or racism in our departments and something must be done to stop the unjustified use of force by police are they really withholding judgment? I've had several conversations recently with officers from different departments in our county. 
They tell me they are used to those who dislike and hate police voicing that sentiment. But the comments of those who are supposed to be representing them basically accusing them of wrongdoing by association without even waiting for investigations to be complete, completely lets them down. I urge all of you, before you make comments, to remember everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Wait till the investigation is complete. Ignore what the suspect's lawyer or the officer's union says. They weren't there. They're not conducting the investigation. I also want to say when it comes to armed persons showing up at these incidents of unrest lately, while I understand it is their right, and I respect and, and encourage people to protect themselves and their property, I've never met an officer who welcomed the presence of armed individuals. Unknown individuals heavily armed do nothing but raise the tension level of these incidents. But both sides now having their own militia showing up is very much like an arms race and will only make a bad situation much worse for everyone, including law enforcement. As politicians representing our constituency, our job is to try and support our citizens, have the resources needed in place to deal with every conceivable situation to mitigate the loss of life and property. By doing that, we're able to help calm and reassure everyone in our community. Thank you. So there any other announcements? Mayor? Yeah, go ahead. I have an announcement. Yes, and before I do before I do, do the announcement, I just want to say amen to Alder Dorf and Alder Galvin. They expressed very well uh, what I feel also, and I thank them for that. But my announcement is um, for the uh, the seventh annual State of the Bay. Um, this time it's going to be a virtual event. It is September 29th, Tuesday. It's the Fox River and Green Bay area of concerns through the DNR. Opening remarks are gonna be from Congressman, Congressman Mike Gallagher and Senator Tammy Baldwin. Um, I have contacts here, but I will, I'll send this information, I just got it late. I'll send this information to Chris Teske and she can put it out to all the alders. Sounds great. Thanks Alder. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Any other announcements? All right, with that, we will move along to appointments. We have some reappointments here. Move to approve. Second. Second. Motion made by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Scannell. Any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. Item has been approved. On to ordinances, second reading for adoption. Um, before we get that motion, I think we do need to take up um, number four separately. So just wanted to know that. Yes. I'd also like to, is it number four or is it number two? Uh, my, my apologies, number two. So we could entertain a motion to take up the others in motion one. Motion to suspend the rules to take up every item except number two. Second. Second. Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Dorf to take up items one, three, four, and five with one roll call vote. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. Any discussion on these items? If not, we Motion will- Motion to adopt. Um, wait, Alder Stoyer's oh. hand is raised, oh. but he's muted. Alder Stoyer. Thank you, Alder Dorf. Um, Mayor, I just wanted to mention that uh, there was a misspelling on uh, zoning ordinance one, Lombardi, that's all. The word Lombardi. Right, I see that. Um, Thank God for schools. <laughs> we need to make that correction. Clerk or- um, You can just note the error. Um, it's a Scribner's error, so, so um, there's no issue with, with just noting that correction being made. I'm just noting it. Thank you. Very good. Thanks, Alder, for noting that. Um, so there was a motion made to adopt items one, three, four, and five by Alder Scannell. Was that seconded? Second, I think I did, of course. Seconded by Alder Dorf. We'll use the board. Mayor, I'm just going to uh, verbally say aye. 
it's not coming up on my screen. I'm going to try to log out again and then log back in to see if I can get the board to come up, unless they haven't put the board up yet. Okay. Thanks, Alder. And those are adopted 11 0. On to item two, J2. Uh, and Alder Corpus Dax, I believe, has an amendment. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, motion to amend general ordinance number 32 2 to correct the scrivener's error by replacing section 1314 5, Green Bay Municipal Code, with section 13 1716 5, Green Bay Municipal Code, in the ordinance title and where it appears throughout the ordinance. Very good. Thanks, Alder. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Alder Dorf. All in favor of that technical amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. The ayes have it. We're on to passage as amended or adoption as amended. Move to adopt so move. as amended. Or sec I'll second it. Was that made by Alder Lefebvre? Seconded by Alder Dorf? Yes. All right, and then um, we will use the board. And that also passes 11-0. On to the report of the Finance Committee. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Corpus Dax, seconded by Alder Dorf to approve Report K, which is the report of the Finance Committee from the meeting on September 8, 2020. Any items here to be handled separately? Hearing none, all in favor of approving that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it, the report has been approved. On to the report of the Redevelopment Authority. Motion to approve. approve. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Dorf to approve report L, which is the report of the Redevelopment Authority from the meeting on August 25th, 2020. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. You guys have it. The report has been approved. On to the report of Improvement and Services Committee. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Corpus Dax to approve report M, which is the report of the Improvement and Services Committee from the meeting on September 9, 2020. Any items here to be handled separately? Number one. Number one. Any others? Hearing none others, all in favor? Uh, Mayor, number seven, sorry. Seven. One and seven will be handled separately. All in favor of approving the remainder of that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Was nay, the ayes have it. The report has been approved with the exception of items one and seven. Your wishes on item one. Move to approve. Second. Made by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Stoyer. Item was pulled by Alder Scannell. You have the floor, Alder. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I'd just like to send this back uh, Mr. Hoff missed the last meeting, so we didn't hear his side of the story. He's since contacted uh, our director, Grenier, and uh, has asked if he could have his day in court. And so uh, I think we should hear him out. So refer back. Second. Yes. Motion made to refer this item back to committee made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Johnson. Any further discussion? All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. The ayes have it. That item has been referred back to committee. On to item seven. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Dorf. Item was pulled by Alder Stoyer. You have the floor. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just another Scribner's on the first first line. It just says if there are potential renovations updates to enhance potential renovations updates, it's a little huh, little uh, misleading there. So I'd like to have it just tightened up if there are potential renovations updates 
to enhance efficiencies of the facility. That's how it should read. Okay. That That's all. And on that one, Attorney Chavez, do we need an amendment or can we just note that as well? Um, you know, if he's made an amendment, you can just approve it as amended. Okay. Motion has been made to uh, amend that language by Alder Stoyer. Do you have a second? Second. Second. Second by Alder Corpus Dax. Any further comments? Mayor? Yeah, Alder Johnson. Um, what actually, uh, are we just taking a vote on the amendment right now? Yes. Yeah, my, my point is not to the amendment, so I'll wait. Okay. All in favor of the amendment will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. The item has been amended. Uh, Alder Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. Since this was being referred, I was gonna hold this question. But since it's pulled, uh, Director Grenier, could you just uh, perhaps explain um, why this is going to the Parks Committee? Certainly, there is. There seems to be some confusion regarding the responsibilities of different departments, because we have the heavy equipment. We Department of Public Works is responsible for putting the in-water facilities in the water at Metro. Uh, light park and city deck but each of those three facilities are actually technically city park facilities so they uh, they, they they justifiably reside under the jurisdiction of the parks department and therefore parks committee so so if we're uh, if, if the city were to ever make improvements enhancements that budget would come out of the parks department budget well, more than, more than likely it would be part of the Parks Department bond request, but yes. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. Okay, thank you, I appreciate we, we've kind of We've kind of crossed over in the past, and we, I, I need to, uh, Director Ditchite and I have been talking about this a little bit. We need to sit down and, and come up with a more cohesive strategy ourselves so that, that we can better advise you on where to send these types of requests. Very good. Thanks, Director Grenier. With that, uh, we have uh, a motion that's been amended. Entertain a, a motion to refer this back as amended. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Stoyer to refer this item back to committee as amended. All in favor of signifying. Oh, whoa, we're, we're not referring this back. Mm -hmm. Oh, to parts. Never mind. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Aye. <laughs> aye. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it. And report to the report committee. Uh, on to the report of the protection committee. Motion, Motion to approve. approve. Motion second. Motion by Alder Stephen, seconded by Alder Lefebvre to approve report N, which is the report of the protection and policy committee from the meeting on September 3rd, 2020. Any items here to be handled separately? Number four, please. Item four, any others? Item four will be handled separately. Hearing none others, all in favor of approving the remainder of that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. You guys have it, the report has been approved with the exception of item four. Your wishes? Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Lefebvre. The item was pulled by uh, Alder Gerlach. You have the floor. Thank you. Um, I want to be very clear. This is about support, a, a public resolution declaration to support the police. And I want to be very clear that I absolutely 100% support the Green Bay Police Department. And I support the things that Alder Dorp and Alder Galvin said at the beginning of our meeting. But when I read the resolution, I just had a concern, having come through a very difficult summer and knowing that tensions still are running a little bit high, I wanted to make sure that we were not publicly um, throwing our support behind the police department without acknowledging um, some of the other members of the community who might see this as a binary choice. They might just feel that if you support the police publicly, you are not supporting me. If you respect this body, you might not be respecting me. And I know that's not the intent but I want to be very sure that we don't um, set off alarms and create hard feelings that aren't necessary. So I asked um, Alder Weary if he would work with me to just introduce a language 
into this resolution that would um, acknowledge the, that it is the community that the police serve and that community members um, should feel respected as we respect the police. And uh, Alder Weary was reluctant to do that, and so I created an alternative resolution, and they did send it out to all of the Alders by email this afternoon, but as I was believe, explaining to Alder Weary... We, we did get a... a yes? just, just to interject real quickly, I apologize for interrupting Alder, but I believe we did get a response from Alder Weary um, later this afternoon saying that he was acceptable to your changes, just, just to note that. Right, and so I was just going to say, I sent it out to all the alders. I'm not sure they all got it. I do have a little trouble reaching some of them by email, but um, I, I thought that, um, uh, I don't know if you, if because everyone hasn't seen it, I don't know if it's necessary for them to see it now. The changes are small, but I think they're very important. And um, I also think that after people see it, uh, perhaps Alder Weary would like to speak. And that's all I have to say, thank you. Thank you so much. Could, could we, I didn't get the email. I would like to hear the changes. Yes, maybe we, um, I'm Is not sure if someone would be able to. The screen? Yeah, you know, actually I realized that I, I am not signed into the Zoom laptop with my email. So Alder Gerlach, what I'm going to do is make you, do you have it um, available to you in terms of uh, an e-document? I have, oh, I have, I'm sorry, what, what do you want? I have a, a Word document, I have a PDF. What do you want me to do? Um, Mayor, do you have that? I can send it to you and then I'll give you the ability to share your screen. Let's do that. Uh, sure, that'll work. Mayor, this is Alder, Alder Lefebvre. I will not be able to see it because I'm just in civic clerk on my, on my laptop and calling in. I did send it to you in your email, so you, you had that yours was one that um, Elder Gerlach couldn't, for some reason it bounced back, but it went through when I sent it to you. And I didn't, I'm sorry, I did not get a chance to read it. I mean, can you open up your email? Maybe. So what the mayor is going to do is he is going to be able to share his screen and then everyone will be able to see the changes. See the resolution. Yeah. Mayor, I won't be able to see it, but I guess I will. Um, yeah, I mean, well, maybe Alder Gerlach, do you want to just read it for us? Sure. I, and actually, I have a paper copy in front of me. It might be easier for me to read from the paper. Okay. By the Common Council of the City of Green Bay. Whereas the Green Bay Police Department continues to work proactively to sustain trust and legitimacy with, the Green, Bay, with Green Bay's residents, including engaging with and listening to the community, giving them a voice and a platform to suggest change, performing as a leader in, as, I'm sorry, performing as a regional leader in community crisis intervention training, CCIT, with more than 60 officers trained in CCIT, maintaining an open door policy for the community, including a yearly Teen Police Academy, establishing the region's first behavioral health unit consisting of sworn officers and a county social worker, demonstrating its commitment to safe welcoming neighborhoods through community policing, 
implementing hiring policies that strive to match the demographics of the department with the demographics of the city, emphasizing de-escalation and non-escalation training for all officers, demonstrating a respect for human dignity by requiring implicit bias training and ethics training for officers and supervisors, having in place a policy that holds officers at all levels accountable, racial bias, dishonesty, and use of excessive force. And whereas we recognize that an essential value of a policing entity is to ensure safe exercise of the democratic rights of those who live and work in the community, and whereas we recognize and honor the selfless and heroic service provided by the men and women of the Green Bay Police Department, and whereas we rely on law enforcement officers to keep our neighborhoods safe, enforce our laws, and respond in times of crisis, and whereas, whereas everyday law enforcement officers face the threat of violence and danger and routinely put their lives in jeopardy to defend others, potentially resulting in injury, disability, or even death, and whereas law enforcement officers protect the constitutional rights of all members of the community, and whereas these men and women, by their distinctive service and dedicated efforts as law enforcement officers, have earned our highest respect and deepest gratitude, now therefore be it resolved that the City, of the city Council of the City of Green Bay, Wisconsin, reiterates its continuing support and recognizes the selfless and heroic service of law enforcement officers of the Green Bay Police Department and their invaluable contributions and innovations in upholding justice, enforcing the rule of law, and respecting and protecting all. Thank you, Alder. Would you like to make a, a motion to amend um, that item to that effect? I certainly would. So moved. Thank you. Thank you. That amendment has been made by Alder Gerlach and it has been seconded by Alder Scannell. Alder Weary? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, obviously, the main objective here was to get something in our hands uh, to show our full support and respect for the police department. As we heard, you know, by the great announcements, you know, by Alder Dorf and Alder Galvin, uh, that summarized it really. And I think this just reiterates it. And, and uh, uh, I will say, uh, well done, Alder Gerlach. It's, it's well crafted. Uh, you rephrased it and tightened it up. It improves the readability, I think, and the flow. And so I. I support it. I, I don't see any, any any issue with it. it. It does what we want it to do. Very good. Thanks, Alder. Mayor. Yes, Alder Lafayette. May I make a May I make a suggestion because we have our heading resolution in support of the Green Bay Police Department. Just that alone is just saying that we're just supporting the police. Maybe we could add, if that's going to be our heading, maybe we could add on there. And we support the um, the right of all citizens to peacefully, peacefully protest, something like that. I mean, maybe someone can word it better, but there has to be something, I think, in that very first part. So when people read that, that's the first thing they're going to read? That's the whole intent. <laughs> if I could, Mr. Mayor, I think that's the whole intent, is support the police department. If you want to support all the other rights we have, then create your own your own resolution. But I think that just confuses it. Okay. Just a suggestion. Any other comments? Mr. Mayor? Yeah, Alder Gerlach. I, I, I support what uh, Alder Weary says. Um, it, it, it is definitely meant to support the Green Bay Police Department. All I wanted to do was put in some inclusive and sensitive language, and I believe that I've been allowed to do that. I'm perfectly happy with the title the way it is. Very good. Thanks, Alder. Any further comments? Mayor? Oh. Alder Dorf. Alder Dorf. Yeah, just a reminder, I, I am watching the speaker's queue, oh. so just make sure oh. to... To do that? Okay. Alder Dorf, go ahead. I just wanted to also affirm that I agree with Alder Weary. And um, definitely, I think it should remain the same that the way the way it currently is titled. Thank you. Very good. Thanks, Alder. Any other comments? All right, so we have a motion to amend that's been seconded. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. The ayes have it. The item has been amended. Entertain a motion to uh, adopt as amended. So moved. 
Second. Second. Motion made by Alder Weary, uh, seconded by Alder Corpus Dax. Any final comments? Seeing none, all in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 The item has been adopted as amended on to report of the Protection and Policy Committee granting operator licenses. Motion to approve. Motion made by Alder Corpus Dax, seconded by Alder Stevens to approve Report O, which is a report of Protection and Policy Committee granting operator licenses. Any names for which you'd like to be recorded as abstaining? Any names under this report to handle separately? Hearing none, all in favor of the report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. The ayes have it. The report has been adopted. On to the report of the Plan Commission. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Corpus Dax to approve report P, which is the report of the plan commission from the meeting. Any items here to be handled separately? One. Item one. Any others? Hearing none others, all in favor of approving the remainder of that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. The report has been approved with the exception of item one. Your wishes. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Stoyer. The item was pulled by Alder Stevens. Alder, you have the floor. Thank you. Um, the planning project planner, uh, John Leroy, reached out to me along with the owner expressing they would like to have this referred back to committee. Um, with their feedback from the commission, um, they decided they have better options that would they would like to discuss with staff and planning and the neighbors in that neighborhood. I'll second. Okay, so Alder Stevens makes a motion to refer back to the plan commission that's been seconded by Alder Corpus Dax. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, the ayes have it. The item has been referred back. On to report of the personnel committee. Motion to approve. Thank you. Made by Alder Corpus Dax, seconded by Alder Stevens to approve report Q, which is the report of the personnel committee from the meeting on September 8, 2020. Any items here to be handled separately? Two. Item two. <clears throat> Any others? Hearing none others, all in favor of approving the remainder of that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. You guys have it. The report has been approved with the exception of item two. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell. Second by Alder Dorf to approve. The item was pulled by Alder Johnson. You have the floor. Thank you, Mayor. And I would just uh, perhaps seek a little bit of clarification um, because it, this was forwarded as a no recommendation. So I presume Alder Scannell's motion to approve is to actually uh, award the three-year contract. Uh, so would that be correct? Is that correct, Alder Scannell? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, okay. I want to hear, I was going to, since you pulled it, I was going to hear your discussion, but sure, uh, no, you, no. you can amend or whatever and support that. I mean, yeah, well, and that's, that's why I want to see, that's why I want to see clarification. So I, I, I would support this. I did, I did, uh, request, Quest advanced this with no recommendation so that uh, Director Falls could provide us some additional information on two points uh, that were of interest to me. One was this, uh, this uh, shared service agreement that we have with the Green Bay Public Schools. I wanted to actually see a copy of that. Uh, and Director Falls, as well as Alder Dorf, had, had provided that. Uh, I, I believe it went to full council. Um, what I, what I wanted to review, I mean, I just, we, we have a shared services agreement in place where essentially, um, the school district reimburses us for police liaison officers and we pay for uh, the crossing guards. And what I wanted to make sure of is that the city of Green Bay wasn't upside down on that arrangement. Um, and, and, and so again, the, the, the agreement kind of laid out exactly how that works. So I hope everyone had an opportunity to review that. And the other piece of information that I wanted clarification on was whether or not the city of Green Bay was paying for crossing guards for schools that were located out of the city limits. And I, I believe uh, Director Falls confirmed, uh, or perhaps it was PD, Commander Warwick, maybe that confirmed that we do not 
pay for, for crossing guards outside of city limits. So I was comfortable with that explanation. Those were the only two things I wanted to see. Um, so I do support approving a three-year contract. However, I, I, one of the things that, that I would maybe look to Director Faults uh, on, the agreement that was advanced to us, one of the, the provisions in there said that uh, from the date that it was signed, which was, I believe, at the end of 2014, or excuse me, 2004, that it, would, it had 10 one-year renewable options. So we've extended that period of time. So could you just at least comment on that? Are, is it just something that we can continue to operate on without actually reevaluating that contract or how does that work? Dr. Fultz? So I, don't, I might have to defer to Chief Smith or Commander Warwick on this one, but my understanding is that I think the last agreement that was sent to you was signed in 2017. So I'm not sure if we're just continuing to operate as is, or if we do look at that every year. So I don't know if Chief Smith or Commander Warwick have any additional information on that. My understanding, and Kevin, correct me if I'm wrong, is that this is a, an ongoing um, agreement and that the city or the uh, school district can cancel it with, I believe it's a 90 day notice, but maybe Kevin has better information on that. No, that, that's correct. It just re-ups every year. Um, I've, you know, of the, the, my tenure at the police department, I've never gone into negotiations, uh, referenced that on an annual basis. Okay, so, so perhaps then I would maybe refer to Attorney Chavez, unless Director Paltz, you sent us maybe an older document, but what I'm reading here, it says the initial term of this agreement runs from the date of the last signature on this agreement until June 30th, 2005, Thereafter, the agreement shall automatically re renew for 10 one-year periods. Yeah, Elder Johnson, I can, I can jump in. So also to the committee, excuse me, to the council, the most current agreement as well. I don't know if you saw that one, but that was signed in 2017, and that says it automatically renews every year. Okay, I, I, I didn't get that email. Um, Okay, so, so, that, so there is a new agreement that was signed in 2017. That, that's all I need to know um, because I, what, I, what I was really getting at was whether or not I should submit a communication to have this renewed. Uh, but if it sounds like that's already been done. But that said, Director Falls, could you please still send me that revised agreement because it's not showing up in my box. Uh, but I know uh, Alder Gerlach was having some problems emailing my email address as well. I don't know if that's connected. We'll, we'll talk to Director Haranek about that. So I, I'm yeah. good with approval. I'll send that to you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Alder. Um, yeah, Alder. Mayor, um, it's in the packet, Alder right. Johnson. It's right. Um, it's right there. Oh, the okay. Well, I'll, I'll look at it. So I just I just looked at the the original one Director Fault sent. So it sounds like we're good, Joe. Yeah, Director Fault, thank you. All right. Thanks, Alder. Uh, so I will entertain a motion to adopt or to award the three-year contract. Oh, to adopt. Alder Galvin. Motion. Oh, 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 there's a few Galvin and Stoyer. Alder Galvin. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, I hit the uh, request to speak button, but I, um, no, I guess. I did too. Anyway, no I, I had several phone calls today from crossing guards that live uh, inside my, my district. Um, they're very concerned that they may be losing their jobs. And I do, I told them that there's wording in the contract that they will be called. I'm just wondering if there's any way we can make sure they get a priority. Um, there was one gentleman, he was planning on retiring when he turned 80 from crossing children. He's 78 years old right now. He's been crossing children since he retired. Um, the stories I'm getting from these cross are coming back when they're in college to say hi to them. The relationships that they've established is, is unbelievable. Their dedication to protecting these children, I think, should be rewarded. And if at all possible, if we can put wording into this agreement that they get the preference on, on these jobs, um, I would like to have it in there. Thank you. Thanks, Alder. And Director Faults? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, so we did reach out to the uh, vendor who will be awarded the contract here and they said that they would um, 
taken the applications from these crossing guards and we believe that more than likely they will be hired. Uh, they did pass the physical test through um, through the city. So we had assumed they had passed it through this um, new vendor as well. So we'll make sure they're aware of those, um, aware of how to apply if they need to. All right, thank you. Alder, Alder Story. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, for Director Falls, um, you know, Joe, I, I was wondering about you know, I, I wasn't privy to the meeting. I, I did catch a little of it, but I'm just wondering uh, with this new possible contract coming forward, if um, there are no benefits per se for for these new hirees. So I'm just wondering if there, what what is the savings that the city looks to gain from something like this financially? Is there some way to put a number on that? Yeah, so Alder Stoyer, there is a there's a PowerPoint that was attached that went through that. Right, and I, I looked through some of that. So I just wanted to work, you know, succinctly put it in words. So if if, if I could jump in, uh, it's about eighty five between eighty and eighty five thousand dollars of savings to the city over three years. And when we looked at that, you know, that, that's, that's a high number to save. Uh, but I really want to stress the amount of time that it's going to save city staff, not only internally at the police department with um, the administration of the program, but with human resources trying to constantly recruit, interview, hire, and vet future crossing guards, there's going to be a huge amount of time savings, um, staff time going forward. So over three years, it's between 80 and 85, but equally important, it's a, there's a lot of staff time that's going to be saved by outsourcing this to the third vent, to the, uh, to the vendor. Okay. Thank you for that commander Warwick. But like all the Galvin said, uh, I had several crossing guards call me as well. Concerns about losing their position, their benefits, things on that order. So that is this time sensitive? I, I need to know that. Our goal is to, to implement this January 1. Okay. I would just January, January. go ahead. So at the personnel committee, what we discussed was um, based on the RFP and one that went out, the pricing is held and guaranteed through October 4th. Uh, okay. We have not received an email back from the vendor and whether or not they will extend that pricing guarantee longer than October 4th. So we were hoping to have that approved. If it, I think our next council meeting is October 6th. So I'm not sure if how we'd be able to hold that okay. over. There would not be a guarantee that they'd hold the pricing if it's not approved tonight. Okay, well, just a couple more points. You know, I was looking up what ACMS is and they're the largest school crossing guard company in the US with 33 years of experience serving 275 cities. One of the concerns I had though, was that in cities like Menominee Falls, Waukesha, West Dallas, and South Milwaukee, that uh, the, the, that ran that uh, issue there, WPPS shut down in 2019. And I just wanna ask if you feel that ACMS has the track record to not go that route, Director Falls. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Well, I'm just saying that there, there's some other communities in Wisconsin suffered from the fact that they had a private entity uh, looking over their services. It wasn't ACMS, it was WPPS, and they shut down in 2019, causing a lot of problems for, for other communities. So I'm just wondering if ACMS, from what you've read and studied about, if you feel that their years of experience and their track record is good enough that there will be no worries about something like that. So I, I was not on the committee that reviewed the um, proposals, but I can tell you that they did reach out to Appleton, the city of Green Bay did, and Appleton uses this vendor as well. And they're very happy with the services that they're providing. Um, and also I can tell you that other municipalities that um, the purchasing department reached out to, they said that every municipality said that they were very happy that they want to outsource it because of the um, things that Commander Warwick mentioned of saving time for recruiting and the turnover of replacing the, the crossing guards. So we, we believe that it's the right choice to move to an outside okay. uh, vendor to provide this. I can't guarantee that I know for certain 
that they're not going to move on next year or two years from now. But I can tell you that the city of Appleton have, have used them for some time and they're very happy with their services. I did notice that four of the top 25 cities in Wisconsin do have ACMS. It was Appleton, West Dallas, Wauwatosa, and Sun Prairie. F, well, 12 of them still use the police department. Madison, Green Bay, Kenosha, and a number of others. So I'm just wondering if the trend is that to go toward this private uh, entity, if you feel that that's the way things are going, Commander Warwick, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, I, I believe that this, this is a trend going forward. Uh, um, you know, we're, we're always strapped for, for time. Uh, we, we always got great people and employees that can pick up the work. And, you know, if, if, you know, the worst possible scenario happened, we could take this program over tomorrow. Um, so I feel confident going into this and outsourcing it to ACM and really just have a good feeling of, of you know, the plan going forward. So I don't, I don't see any concerns uh, re regarding regarding this. Um, does that help answer your question? Yes, it does. And I'll just finish with what Alder Galvin stated that, you know, really take preference and take a look at the existing guards and make sure that we don't shortchange them at all. Thank you. Yep, and I, and I worked with uh, Lieutenant Brad Stroff um, on this project with uh, purchasing and, and human resources. And he, he, is, he has told me that the, the current crossing guards will be given priority to be hired uh, because they need crossing guards. Uh, and those people are a good base, a good starting point uh, going into this program. Okay, thank you. That's all. Any other questions or comments? So I believe Alder Scandal did make a motion uh, to award the contract. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Alder Dorf. Without further discussion, all in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. The ayes have it and the contract will be awarded. On to the report of the Public Arts Commission. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Stevens to approve report R, which is the report of the Public Arts Committee from the meeting on August 26, 2020. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. The ayes have it. Report has been adopted. Receive and place on file. Motion to receive and place on file. Second. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Stevens to report to receive and place on file the municipal court and building permit reports for August 2020. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving that report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. The ayes have it. The report has been received and placed on file. Resolutions. You may under suspension of the rules adopt resolutions one through three together with one roll call vote. Motion to suspend the rules by their nose. Uh, <laughs> motion made. One question, Mayor. Yes, all the banner leaves. Go ahead. On, on the resolution authorizing relocation of polling places and they list the wards, uh, will the public be sent out any information as far as so they know where these polling locations are that people that aren't familiar with the locations? Is there going to be some information sent out either in the new? Right, and I know that was done prior to the uh, August primary, Alder, but we will ask uh, Clerk Teske for, um, for an answer there. Well, I think um, the plan is we're going to get the My Vote um, out there for people to be able to check their, their polling locations. We'll have it on our website. Um, and then we'll have the signs at the old polling locations directing them to the new ones. Okay. That's good information thank you very much sure. so sometimes there's confusion on you know where they vote and you know they've changed a lot of them shut down a lot of their locations so that'll be good information that you know the public can you know they can check the website and and if they're going to have it listed at the old locations that's great you know where they're going to where they're supposed to go is sears going to be a, a location there as far as uh, the old sears store is that going to be used as well yes that's going to be um just like it was in august Okay. Well, yeah. There's like how many? There'll be like ten different uh, polling spaces there. There's actually going to be eleven, and um, this time I don't know if you went there in August, but it it will be spread out more. 
within the building. Okay, thank you very much. That answered sure. my question. Thanks, Alder. So we did have a motion to suspend offered by Alder Scannell, seconded by whom? Johnson. Alder Johnson. And then just Attorney Chavez, before we go to that vote, um, is it all right to take them up with one roll call vote, understanding that there was a change, an amendment made to the resolution in support of the Green Bay PD? Yes, so as long as you're noting that it is um, as amended, then the re resolutions can be taken up as um, under their one roll call vote. So we are noting that um, res uh, the T3 is, uh, is being adopted as amended. Uh, so we have that motion to suspend from Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Johnson. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. The rules are suspended. Aye. Motion, motion to adopt. Motion adopt. made by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Scannell to adopt resolutions one through three, and we will use the board. are adopted 11-0. Now on to ordinance's first reading. I entertain a motion to advance item one to a second final reading. So motion moved. to advance. Motion made by Alder Dorf, seconded by Alder Scannell to advance item one. Any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, the ayes have it. It's been advanced to a final reading. On to referral petitions and communications. Like Alder Vanderlees. Alder Vanderlees, go ahead. Uh, is the city uh, actually looking to purchase them all? We're prepared to have a discussion on that tonight, Alder Vanderlees. Okay. All right. There'll be uh, more information given out then later. Correct. All right. No, well, I won't make a comment then. Thank you. I'll wait till we get the information. Thank you. Sounds good. Thanks, Alder. Any others? All right, I'll entertain a motion to refer. No, I, I pressed my button to speak. I did too. I, it's maybe not showing up. Yeah, it is not. Sorry about that. Yeah. Dorf, go ahead. Okay, I, yes, I do have um, one like communication. Um, it's, I believe this should go to the mayor's office because I think it's too legal. Um, due to concerns regarding recent social media comments and practices made by city elected officials, I'm requesting a mandatory training for all alders and other elected officials, possibly held during a city council meeting, clearly delineating what is and is not appropriate use of social media by an elected official. Thank you. Thank you, Alder. Alder Story? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this one could go to law uh, to review and update the zoning ordinance with respect to sign sizes, whether they be campaign or other, on residents in Green Bay. And I have another one to finance. <clears throat> there was a projected shortfall of 550000 in the City of Green Bay's 2020 budget. One possible reduction would be to look at savings that could be realized by combining the functions of the various city garages. Thank you. Thanks, Alder. Alder Galvin. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I have three. Um, first one uh, for the Parks Department. The, the Park Department established a system for next year to uh, make our public bathrooms and our parks available to our citizens and visitors to our community to use during the hours of light uh, once the weather reaches a temperature in which uh, the water can be turned back on um, instead of just having them as we've had uh, pre-COVID. They're locked up and no one can use. Also that a uh, studies be done to try and uh, develop plans to 
to reopen the East River bike trail uh, from basically from Ann Sullivan School or, or the Riverside Ballroom area till where it meets uh, the border of Bellevue um, or Alloway on both sides of the East River. And I believe this would be for improvement in services um, to revisit the parking restrictions in the 600 block of South Irwin. Thank you. Thanks, Alder. Chris? Any Just other? a reminder that I need I need those late communications as soon as possible through email so we can get those on to the proper um, departments. Thank you. So noted, Chris. Thank, I, I apologize. Oh, you're not the only one. Don't worry about oh, okay. it. <laughs> Thanks, Clerk Teske. Any other communications? Motion to refer. Motion to refer. To refer. Motion made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Stevens to refer all late petitions and communications to the proper authority. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay, the ayes have it. Those communications have been referred. Adjournment. Motion yeah. to adjourn. Second. Made by Alder Scannell, seconded by Alder Vanderleest, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Nay, we are adjourned. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Good evening. Thank you.